Hi everyone, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some cooking, some cleaning, as well as some decorating. I'm so excited to share it with you, so just keep on watching. Before I get started cleaning and decorating, I did want to give a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with them many times before and I'm always so excited to try more of their meals. I'm also trying something new today, a Hall of Fame recipe, crispy Parmesan chicken served with garlic herb couscous and lemony roasted carrots. Now, it might sound crazy to you, but I have never tried couscous and so this meal just sounded so interesting to me and I think I've watched a few shows on TV where they've cooked it and I've always wanted to try it but it actually wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad let me know if you've tried it HelloFresh is definitely my favorite meal delivery kit. It came right to my front door as I showed you and in the bags packed with all of the ingredients needed to make all of the recipes. It's just so cute. I love how organized it is. But it's all pre-portioned, meaning there's less prep for you and less waste, which is also very nice. Now, I love opening my refrigerator and having these meals just ready to go. It's just so convenient. I can't help but smile when it's time to cook. I cannot say enough, but their service is also very flexible where you can easily change out your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you want, which is really nice if you are on the go a lot during these warmer months. Now we have been receiving their service once a month, I would say, which it gives me a, just a nice little break from having to meal plan and do all the grocery shopping associated with that meal plan. I am also a very picky eater, so I appreciate the fact that they have so many different recipes that I can choose from. Now most of you know, I'm always talking about that I am like a terrible cook, but I will say HelloFresh is helping me step up my game in the kitchen. I always know I'm going to learn something new and never fail. So I have a coupon code, it's CrystalTerra80 to get $80 off, including free shipping on your first box. Additional restrictions do apply, so visit HelloFresh.com for more details. I will have everything linked below in the description box. If you've been following my previous videos, you know that I just painted our kitchen this past week and so now I need to actually like clean the space. Up close, it is very dirty from far away, not so much, but I definitely need to just get things cleaned up so then I can pull out my decorations. I still haven't decorated since taking down my patriotic decor. So I'm just going to be focused on this area of our kitchen today and leaving the dining and the built-in shelves for just a later time. I really wanna just take my time and clean as much as possible and decorate as well. I am going to start with my appliances because we have like our garage door open and the sun shining in. I can see all the fingerprints is driving me crazy. And so how I clean them is first I will go in with just a wet microfiber cloth and wipe everything down. Once I do that, then I will go back with the real simple stainless steel polish, I believe, and spray like a dry microfiber cloth and just really polish them up and it gets them so shiny. Everything's about to come my way and I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care cause I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down Standing on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop It is my time Cause I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy 
through from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I don't think I've ever shared this in a cleaning video, but I'm finally going to clean my toaster. I don't remember the last time I had done this. So by doing that, I am just going to dump out all of the crumbs that fall to the bottom in our sink. And I think this is the best way to do it. Let me know if you have a different way of cleaning out your toaster. But I'm dumping it all in the sink and then I'm just going to wipe them down and use the same polish that I actually used on all of my appliances. I say, when I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need, what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you The way you look at me is absent It's like you're walking through a labyrinth Just say what? What's going on? Don't waste your time being all alone Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only because it hurts We got play, we got places we can Ah, how shiny is this toaster now? It looks amazing, it looks brand new. So now that is done, I need to get rid of the crumbs that are under the toaster, as well as just spray and wipe down all of our counters in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to use the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Cleaner in the mint scent, it smells so good. This is the first time I've actually bought this like scent in a bottle and I love it. I hope they come out with it again next year. I'm not sure if our family is in the minority or not. However, we eat, or I should say the kids eat pretty much, I would say 75% of their meals right here at, at the kitchen counter. Uh, it's just very easy. I just stand there. I can get them all of the things that they need and continuously ask for. There's always something they need. And so it gets very dirty over here. I bet I clean this counter three times a day. But with that, them sitting there, our TV also just gets covered in fingerprints and food. And so I'm using this, it's a tech cleaning kit that I got off of Amazon. I've had it for a while, but you can use it on your TV screens, your phones, your computers, anything really that's technology related. And I really like it. And so TV, happy to have that clean now. Wasting 
the last cleaning video that I shared. No, it actually wasn't a cleaning video. In one of my vlogs, I actually shared that I was trying this barkeeper's friend for the first time. And I was, you know, I was about so-so about the actual cleaner, but I would, I really like it. It's kind of growing on me, to be honest with you. Um, just, it seems to stay shinier a little bit longer than some of my other cleaners were doing. So it's a very inexpensive cleaner. So recommend you try that if you're looking for something new to try in your stainless steel sink. So right now I just, you know, put the powder in, I'm scrubbing it. And then once I actually get this cleaned, I'm going to try something new that I just picked up to clean out our garbage disposal as well. Listen, garbage disposer cleaner. I've never tried this. I saw it at Menards the other day when I was there finding the supplies for our little laundry room project I was working on. I was like, ooh, I wanna give this a try. And so the box came with four packets. It says to do it every week. I probably won't do it that often, but it's pretty cool. So you just stick that little paper packet down into your disposal run the water as well as your disposal and it kind of like foams up it's actually kind of fun to watch but it's it's supposed to help you know clean out some of the grime and build up as well as just help things smell a little bit better When you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew what power you have over me. But now it's so hard to breathe. Mm -hmm. Just get me out of here. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm going to show you how gross our garbage can is. Our dog, Bailey the Beagle, she will knock over our garbage can from time to time, as well as, you know, we just overpack it sometimes. We can be, fit in one more thing, I think, before we have to take it out. But anyways, it is so gross. And so I'm also going to be cleaning this today. I'm actually just using the disinfectant wipes, the Clorox wipes to wipe everything down. I felt like that was probably my best bet just because of how dirty it was. actually used to keep our garbage can over by like our peninsula until we shiplapped it and then I decided I wanted to just see the beautiful shiplap and so we put the garbage can back by our refrigerator it's kind of in the way there but it's you know less in the way so to speak and so for right now that is where our garbage can is at but now I'm moving on to our stovetop I love to share this because I'm so passionate about these cleaning kits now this set is one that you can buy off of Amazon. I 
I think I have it linked in my store, but I will again link it below for you if you're looking for a very satisfying way to scrape off all of the burnt food on your glass cooktop. I'm gonna leave it all behind, find myself, I'm gonna start with a new. Yeah, I'm on my way now. So now that the kitchen is clean and a few of those nasty areas have also been taken care of, I can get to decorating. I'm so excited for this part. Decorating is definitely my favorite, but it's very black and white in here. I really want to add just a few more wood tones into the space. I'm going to be using all decor that I've already had. I love to use pieces just in a variety of ways. And so I pulled out this little mini tiered tray from the Target Dollar Spot. I've had it for, oh gosh, maybe a year or so. It's kind of moved around as does like all of my decor. It just moves around my house depending on what I'm feeling like. But I just love having a little tiered tray over here. I have a cute little mini coffee sign that I get from my favorite Etsy shop. She makes all of my signs, so I can link that below as well for you. Um, but just, you know, finding all the small things, sticking very neutral, to have something cute by my Keurig. It is a very farmhouse, let's say ish, very farmhouse, far, I can't even say it, farmhouse ish to decorate with cutting boards. And so I was using these to display on my shelves on the other part of my kitchen area, but I decided to display them on our countertops instead to give me more of the wood tones that I really wanted to add. I think both of these came from the hearth and hand line at Target. They're just so cute. It's really fun to find just unique little cutting boards. You can find them almost anywhere right now and they're just really fun propped up. Now on to my favorite area, the chicken wire shelf. Now I bought mine over a year ago from Hobby Lobby. I know there's a few of you who are on the hunt to grab it. It's sold out online, but if it ever does come back into stock, I will let you know. But this is one of my favorites. And over on Instagram, even a few of you will share photos of how you have yours decorated. And I love seeing that. So if you have this shelf and have it decorated, definitely head on over to Instagram and send me a photo so I can see how cute they look. So I have a three large canisters I'm going to be using here. Of course, the Ray Dunn ones. The printed one is from Target there. And then you can add in a few small pieces to go along with it. So I found this green scoop at a local shop last year. And then this plant was in my laundry room. And lastly, I was just walking around my house and I found this canister it was in my bathroom it's from the hearth and hand line at target but i thought you know what it works it fits there it's neutral and i'm gonna stick with this for now now i'm going to be doing a little bit of a wreath switcheroo this one on the pantry i just didn't care for the color of green in my kitchen. So I'm pulling out one of my oldie but goodies from Decor Sales. I just love the neutral green colors of it right next to that little like drugstore sign. I just love it. So I'm moving the other wreath to our back door because I did not have one hanging there right now. It's kind of fun to switch wreaths around in your house. I have so many of them. So I'll just, you know, walk around, move some things around, keep things interesting. And it's funny because, you know, as we have like visitors or guests, which is not as often as it, you know, I'd like it to be right now. But as we do, each time they come, it's almost like I have our house decorated completely different because every month as we've been home, I've been just changing all of the things, but it's kind of fun and I enjoy it. It makes me happy. So finishing off with this little basket 
wall piece right here is from Hobby Lobby, although they don't sell this specific piece anymore. They have like ladders with baskets that I think are equally as fun to decorate. So you can always check their spring shop out if you are looking for something like this. But I'm just filling it in with decor that I already had. I haven't ever tried putting a cookbook in there and the new Magnolia Table one fit perfectly. So I thought that was amazing. That's going to be it for today's video. Now that everything is clean and decorated, I'm just loving the wood tones with our freshly painted white walls. It brings me so much joy to come out into the space, but I hope today's video gives you maybe some new decorating ideas, some cleaning motivation, maybe your garbage can needs some attention like ours does. But thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to check out the description box below for my HelloFresh coupon code. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.